the European transfer window slammed shut on Friday night, with a number of the continent's top clubs leaving it right until the last minute to try and wrap up deals. The summer window 2024 has been a mixed bag of transfers, and we'll dig into the biggest winners and losers of the summer window with Mbapp making a move to Madrid, Chelsea's awful transfer tactics, and Sterling hitting the jackpot. Overall, spending was down this year for a variety of reasons. England's elite remain wary of falling foul of the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules, while many Saudi Pro League sides were either unable or unwilling to splash anything like the same cash as last summer. However, there were still plenty of major moves, which delighted some supporters and upset others. So, who were the big winners and losers of the window? Let us break it down for you. First up, let's talk about the masters of the transfer market. Manchester City. Love them or hate them? You've got to admit they know how to play the game. Coming off a treble winning season and a historic fourth consecutive Premier League title, there was genuine concern that some of their key players might look for a new challenge. But City didn't just manage to keep hold of their stars like Kevin De Bruyne and Edison. They even made a profit by offloading Joao Cancelo to the public investment fund for £21 million. And get this, they somehow got Ilkay Gundogan back from Barcelona for free. The cherry on top. They sold Julian Alvarez to Atletico Madrid for a whopping £81.5 million. Sure, losing a player of Alvarez's caliber isn't ideal, but when you make a profit like that without weakening your squad, you've got to call it a win. Now, let's head over to Spain, where things didn't go so smoothly for Barcelona. Despite all the talk of financial recovery, Barca were scrambling around in the last week of the window, just trying to register their one significant signing, Dani Olmo. And how did they manage it? By taking advantage of a conveniently timed injury to centre-back Andreas Christensen. To make matters worse, they had to let Ilkay Gundogan leave for free just to get Almo on the wage bill. This deal wasn't ideal because Nico Williams was the real player they tried to get. But Nico Williams managed to stay with Athletic Bilbao. Despite all this, Danny Olmo has shown real quality for Barcelona, and Hansi Flick has managed to get the team together. As of right now, Barca is at the number one spot in La Liga. Moving on to Paris Saint-Germain, another winner, a club that might actually benefit from losing Kylian Mbapp. Yeah, you heard that right? It sounds strange, but hear me out. Losing a player of Mbapp's caliber is devastating, no doubt. But Mbapp was also a major source of drama at the Parc des Princes and his departure might just bring some much-needed stability to the club. With Mbapp out of the picture, other talents like Bradley Barcola and new signing Desire Dow have a chance to shine. Speaking of Mbapp, the man himself has to be one of the biggest winners of the summer. After two years of making PSG and Real Madrid jump through hoops, he finally made his move to the Santiago Bernabeu on his own terms. This transfer is truly a dream come true for Mbapp. Growing up with Cristiano Ronaldo posters on his bedroom wall, He's now Madrid's most celebrated signing since the Portuguese legend himself. However, things haven't looked too smooth for Mbapp as he hasn't scored in his first three La Liga games and his relationship with other players at the club is being questioned. On the flip side, let's talk about a player who had a rough summer, Victor Osimhen. The Nigerian striker is one of the best in the world. So when Napoli agreed to let him leave, it seemed inevitable that he'd join one of Europe's elite clubs. But guess what? He's still stuck at Napoli and his situation there is anything but rosy. Napoli tried everything to sell Osimhen, even slashing their asking price nearly in half. But Osimhen wasn't interested in moving to Saudi Arabia or Chelsea because he wanted Champions League football and wasn't willing to lower his salary demands. Unfortunately, Liverpool is another loser in the summer window. Despite pulling off a bargain by signing Federico Chiesa for just 10 million pounds, the Reds failed to address their long-standing midfield issues. They thought they had Martin Zubay Mendy in the back, only for the deal to fall through at the last minute. With no plan B in place, Liverpool fans are left frustrated once again. The ongoing uncertainty around the futures of key players like Trent Alexander-Arnold, Virgil van Dijk and Mohamed Salah only adds to the anxiety at Anfield. One of the most surprising moves of the window has to be Raheem Sterling's loan to Arsenal. Just weeks ago, Sterling was told he wasn't needed at Chelsea, one of the most chaotic clubs in football right now. Fast forward to today, and he's joining a stable, title-challenging side in Arsenal. But as Sterling wins, Chelsea loses. The club's transfer dealings have been nothing short of a farce. They've got a 15-strong bomb squad, they're struggling to offload, and their stockpiling of wide forwards is baffling. The treatment of homegrown talents like Conor Gallagher and Trevor Chalaba has been disgraceful, and it's clear that the club is a mess from top to bottom. That's it. Guys, the biggest winners and losers in the summer 2024 window. It would make my day if you could like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments.